Welcome everyone. The topic for the day is types of hazard. We'll discuss the various types of hazard that is present in and around us in the vicinity of human beings. Basically hazard which might cause harm to us, right? So what is hazard? Often the term is very confusing in the sense if some uh, dictionaries, if you go and research it, they will equate the term hazard with risk, some with danger and basically they will join these two terms risk danger and probably to human beings draw a relation to the human beings so basically we need to understand how anything which is detrimental to the existence of human in terms of life death injuries and types of injuries that we are talking around is is known as hazard so basically many definitions but i would love to tell it to you as in these two terms as in harm and hazard a hazard is any potential source of damage any potential source of adverse effect on the health of the human species as such so harm is a physical injury and hazard has potential source now this might be physical this might be cognitive this might be psychological this might be emotional anything that we are talking around it it is detrimental essentially to the health of the worker or the employee that we are talking around it so please distinguish the term harm and hazard harm means physical injuries or damage to the health hazard on the other other way is a potential harm to the employees that we are talking talking around it and the potential harm can be anything it can be psychological it can be sociological it can be physical it can be emotional and so on and so forth so type of hazards, the very crux of this presentation is in this very slide out here. It is the physical hazard, the safety hazard, the chemical and the dust hazard, the work organization hazards and the ergonomics hazard. Talking about it, please understand physical hazard which leads to an injury. Injury can have various degrees, eventually, eventually may lead to death. Safety hazard in case there are prone to accident and incident. Chemical and dust hazard probably it basically might have an adverse effect over a long period of period of exposure or probably you might come to know of your health being an issue after a certain point of your employment certain time duration that has been planned work organizational hazard is the professional hazard that people work in let's say a soldier would have a different kind of hazard vis-a-vis -vis an office goer an office goer would have a different kind of hazard vis-a-vis -a, -vis a miner or a person who is working in the mines a miners would have a different kind of hazard vis-a-vis -vis, let's say a food delivery agent or any delivery agent who is traveling on the road every now and then so we need to understand the work organizational hazard that every profession has and last but not the least would be your ergonomic hazard in the sense about your dexterity about your proficiency with your limbs and the machine it's the in conjunction between the machine and the man that we are talking around it what are the ergonomics hazard that so physical hazard includes radiations probably because of ionizing and non-ionizing be it of microwave radio waves high exposure to sunlight and ultraviolet lights this is one of the things there are certain things called about the extremities of the temperature in terms of being cold or hot then comes the constant loud noises now this is a it's a continuous effect probably you might people might get used to it but they don't anticipate or they don't understand the long-term implication which render them deep over a period of time and definitely shortens their life then comes the safety hazard this are the most common and probably will be present in any and every workplace at one point of time or another point of time so safety hazard might actually lead to injuries illness or death let us understand what are the safety hazards. Number one, the, the flow might be wet. The flow might be congested with certain kind of cords, certain kind of uh, tools that has been lying on the floor. Probably this is detrimental to the health of the workers. Let us come understand working at the height. Chances of falling down is very high if you are working on a height situation. Unguarded machinery, machinery which might be moving, which might be malfunctioning which probably there might have something that goes wrong with the machine 
the guards might have pulled down and be, it affects the workers immediately in a detrimental fashion then we're talking about the electrical hazard definitely yes electricity might be caused causing uh, jerks probably injuries eventual death because of improper grounding because of a wrong wiring because of uh, definitely exposed wires altogether then we have something called confined spaces where in the ventilation might be an issue the circulation of the year would be an issue as a result because people are working in a confined space especially people working in a uh, quite a few industry but prominent being the mi mining industry if you want to call around it people working underground it is in the confined space the requisite amount of atmosphere is not present out there then the machinery related hazard as in i have already set out to the boiler safety the forklift safety the work that the machine does does and I often does not in a properly fashion and you, that's one of the glorifying example with the aircraft accident which happens all over the globe once probably twice in a year and that many a times it's a malfunctioning of the machine for which it, the accident has been let us understand the chemical and the dust hazard now basically whenever a person is exposed see this is the word we are trying to do about it about any chemical uh, preparations in the workplace the workplace might be full of chemical be it in the solid form be it in the liquid form be it in the gaseous form may be detrimental and often people are sensitive to such elements people some people are very sensitive ultra sensitive ultra sensitive in the form that they might be allergic around it so beware of such liquids like cleaning products by acid by solvent then we talk about the vapors and the fumes that comes from a welding and exposure to the solvent altogether gases like acetylene propane carbon monoxide helium actually is one of the major reason for um, death probably one uh, asphyxiation wherein people lose their consciousness altogether and it becomes if not revived up, uh, on an immediate basis may they may actually lose their life altogether then we have chemicals which are flammable in the sense of gasoline solvent and explosive chemical and last but not the least is the pesticide remember pesticides we are using in a farming industry in an agricultural industry for killing the pest getting rid of the pest and the insects out there and this is the people are exposed to such chemical so chemical and dust hazard remains a prominent altogether then we come about the work organization has a mind you there are certain work i have already stated at the very beginning the work of an army the work of a police the work of a marketing executive the work of a miner the work of an officer office goer are different and every work has their own stresses be it short term be it long term these hazards are issued in in sense of workload probably lack of control probably lack of dignity and so on and so forth so what are the examples let us understand there are workload issues i am sure that most of you would understand there are abusing in the workplace in the sense of workplace violences there is an intensity in the work probably you people are working many profession are working in a high pressure situation altogether the respect or the dignity that might be missing the flexibility you might be actually been doing the same work repeatedly time and again the control or to say about anything might be always been dominated by this uh, meant it been dominated and people tend to lose their self respect confidence and so on and so forth social support and relations and of course sexual harassment we are talking about a lot of a lot of sexual harassment in in either of the genders for the genders now even children are being sexually abused and that needs to be understood time and again we get to the last point of the economic hazards remember what we have said about it it's the working coordination in sync with the man and the machine now what does he talk about it it is the body position of the work that we go around it uh, which might put a strain on your body the hardest to spot is always immediately noticed on the body the strain on your body the harm on your body the ache in your body that comes around it people sitting in front of the uh, laptop or a desktop or a you know, video uh, display your terminal they might be having strain in their eyes 
one of the things. The second thing, they might have pain in the cerv cervical areas or should I say in a layman language near the necks. So it needs to be understood. Ergonomic hazards include a lot of things. For example, improperly work, uh, adjusted workstation. If your height of the chair uh, is not appropriate, if the back rest is not appropriate, it will create more of a problem and less of a uh, less of comfort out there. So we need to understand. Then people are inclu including into frequent lifting and lifting of heavy workloads that comes around it. Heavy materials that needs to be lifted. Poor postures is one of the things. Awkward movement we are talking around it, where people are moving in an awkward fashion. Absolutely. Um, uh, a glorifying example is probably the waiters in a five-star hotel might be carrying a huge load of food on that on their tray to be served, and they need to keep a balance with the doors of being open and serving on the table. The so awkward movement can um, be there. Obviously, yes. repeating the same movement and again and again, probably you are basically putting a strain in one particular part of the body, and that renders that particular part of the body quite painful and it aches over it having to use much of a force definitely yes especially if you have do it on a frequency all the more all the way and last but not the vibration probably person who are driving um, cars driving heavy vehicles driving uh, train and whatever you call about it now, these are the places or even for that matter if you continuously working on a heavy forklifting or a, a heavy uh, lifts altogether there's a lot of vibration that has been been ac accompanied with the workplace and the person tends to become a little bit insensitive to such kind of situation and these are the only few ergonomics hazards that i am putting forward there are many please believe me there are many i'm sure most of you are watching this video have coming from a different walks of life and people will be able to understand what is the uh, actual strain point comes coming around it with this i come to an end of this presentation thank you for watching this video